and greeting you in the name of the Lord and our Savior Jesus Christ. During our service, we had sung a beautiful La Tamil La Christian lyric during a Tamil service. After the, after singing the uh, lyric, the gospel was read, and I, after the gospel I shed the word of God. Just before I started sharing, I asked the congregation, do you know what you all sang? Of course, uh, there were those who responded. They said, yes. It's a beautiful like Hamel lyric. He goes, uh, Alindu Pogindra Arthur Makale, Nan Dinamum Dinamum Ninepe. The meaning, I remember in my Christ those who are perishing in their sins. I'll pray for them daily. So I went on to ask the uh, congregation. How many of you have been praying for those who are perishing in their sins? There was a dead silence. I did not even ask them how many of you are praying daily for those who are perishing in their sins. I just asked how many of you have a prayer or praying for those who are perishing in their sins. There was dead silence. Of course, I was sick. Now sometimes when we come to church, we sing a beautiful uh, hymns. Choruses without uh, seriously uh, thinking through the words of the hymns or choruses. When we uh, are called to do intercessions, we we lead in intercessions. There are those who are very serious. They want to know who they are praying for. In fact, I've even had members who have led in uh, the intercessions asking me a week later, how do you know last week we prayed for someone who is sick, was sick, how is the person doing? So the person which uh, led in the, in the intercession uh, had meant what the person had prayed. Then there are those who are, they do it because they've been asked to do. Now as uh, Christians, we must be serious. We must uh, be very, very serious in our spiritual uh, journey. When we pray, we must know what we are praying. Why we are praying for a certain uh, issue or for a certain person. When we sing hymns, we must know why. We are singing the hymn and what the hymn means. What the chorus itself means. Now in uh, Luke chapter 15, Verses uh, 1 to 7. Read of uh, the parable of the lost ship. I'll read for you uh, verses uh, 3 and uh, 4. Then Jesus told them this parable. 
Suppose one of you has a hundred sheep and loses one of them. Does he not leave the ninety-nine in the open country and go after the lost sheep until he finds it? I like the line. Until he finds it. The parable is about a shepherd who owned her a hundred sheep. And then he realizes, hey, one ship is missing. Now you could have partaken a, a tida apa attitude. Let's say, after all, it is only one ship. I've got 99 sheep with me. Tomorrow, I will go and look for the ship. If I find it, good. If I don't find it, it's okay. The shepherd did not take that kind of a stink. It tells uh, Jesus, the, the parable tells, Does he not leave the 99 in the open country and go after the lost ship until he finds it? You see the uh, urgency in the shepherd. He did not say, I'll go and look for it, for, for it tomorrow. But he realized that what, there was one ship that was missing. He immediately decided to leave the 99 and go after the one ship that had gone missing. See uh, the urgency. We must ask ourselves, uh, do we have that kind, feel that kind of an urgency for those who are perishing in their sins? That they could be our fellow Christian brothers, sisters, or they may be non-Christians whom we know. Do we uh, pray for them uh, daily? Do we uh, fast and pray with tears running down from our eyes? Do we pray for them with a burden in our hearts? Say, God, I pray for this brother. God, I pray for this uh, sister. God, I pray for this family. Do we pray daily? In my sharing on that Sunday, I challenged the members by saying, if you have not been praying, for those uh, who are perishing in their sins, you have just said a lie to God in singing the lyric. Because in the lyric, those who sing, they said, God, I, God, I uh, am praying. For those who are lost daily, when they were not doing it. I said, you must start doing it. I think uh, that's one thing that uh, we must keep in mind. As, uh, as uh, the disciples of Jesus, we must have that kind of urgency for the salvation of others. We must have the urgency and we must go out and look for those who are perishing in their sins. For we must go out and look for those who have backslided in their faith. We must go and look for those who have not yet come to know Christ. Now if we have that heart, if we pray daily, God will definitely open our doors. 
God will definitely lead us to those who are longing for the love of our Jesus Christ. And those to whom God leads us may be those who we have been praying daily. And says, yes, we have been praying. Now, we have been praying for this person. Now go and visit that person in his home. Why not go and give a, make a phone call and invite him or her to church? When we pray with burden for those who are perishing, God might lead us to people whom we, we may never have met. But because we have a burden for those who are perishing, God will lead us. God will lead us to them. And God will prepare their heart. So that when we go, because we have already been praying for them, we may, have not, have, we may not have known them, but we, we have, have a burden for those who are perishing in their sins. The shepherd had left the 99 and went in search of the one ship. We might have that kind of a desire. And the shepherd did not return till he found the ship. We should never give up praying for those who are perishing in their sins. For those who are backslided in their pain, for our non-Christian our friends, relations, we must keep praying for them. They may be saved during our lifetime. They may be saved. God may use us to reach out to them, or they may be saved after our lifetime, at the time that God had appointed. But we must never give up our praying for those who are perishing in their sins, who are outside the family of God. Pray. Pray. Pray for them. And God will definitely answer your prayers and my prayers for those who are perishing. Because that is the will of God. That's why Jesus came to the world to save those who are lost. So will you pray for those who are lost? Don't give up. God bless you. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit.